What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack. I'm at vapinginsider.com. Today I got a new pod system for you. We're talking about the Wismic Preva. It's got a DNA go board in it. The big question is, is this the best pod system on the market right now? Make sure you watch the whole review. Find out all my thoughts and feelings. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Look at that thing, huh? Kind of nice. Some nice carbon fiber, or carbon fiber sticker, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know if it's real carbon fiber or not, but it sure as hell looks good. Real nice. I don't know. Some type of almost like a like a black chrome type of look. I'm definitely digging that. Powered by Evolve. Okay. Over there, you got some subtle Wismic branding. Not too crazy. I like that. All right, same thing on the other side. Got that black chrome look with the uh, carbon fiber. Now, I've been using this for quite some time now, man. I really have. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. I'm not going to lie. They gave me one at ECC, and I've been digging it. Here's your fire button right here. Here is your mode button. Very, very simple to operate. Five clicks. Okay. When you fire it, you see I'm in the blue mode right now. That's the highest mode. If I want to go to the lowest mode, I hit the, the mode button right here. I go into yellow. That's the lowest mode. Green is the medium mode. Blue is the high mode. That's it. Those are all the settings. Nothing much to go over there as far as settings go. Here's your airflow ring on top here. It's a little loose. I wish it had a little bit more tension to it. If you cut it down to like there, you can get like a legitimate mount to lung vape off of it. Over here, it's like a, a loose mount to lung. So that's the range from loose to legitimate. But legitimate, you really got to cut it down to a sliver. Drip tip, it's a 510 drip tip. It does come out. You can replace it with another 510 if you would like to. No issues with that. All right, I kind of like the one they gave you. It is nice and comfortable. Pull the pod out. It is a sealed pod. One nice thing I really like about the way they did these pods, the way Wismic did these pods, is the fill port. Check that out, man. That is kind of cool, right? You got this little bladder here keeping everything at bay. All right, needle nose bottles can only apply here. You can't use any bull nose bottles or anything like that. But it's neat. It's non-messy, right? You just stick your needle nose bottle in there and fill it up. When you're done, slide it to the side, and you're good to go. I really, really like the way they did this slider here. I like it better than those screw-off caps. I think it's easier, and I think it's a lot less messier, especially with that little rub-up bladder there. Awesome job, Wismic. So far, I haven't had any leaking, no condensation, nothing like that. You can see right there, clearly marked. This is the Prevapod 0.5 ohm pod. Over here are your gold-plated contacts. The gold-plated contacts on the pod will make contact with those gold-plated contacts right there. There is your magnet right there holding everything in place. You know, we've all seen this before, very much like a Trinity Alpha or an Orion. I do like the way that slides in there. It is nice and tight, really no wiggle to it. It's got a nice, decently strong magnet. Not crazy strong, but it's got a nice fitment. I do like that. On the bottom side of the mod, you have some venting. You also have an exposed micro USB port. Little surprise, because like when you compare this to the Lost Vape Orion Plus or the Lost Vape Orion, they have their uh, micro USB port protected. I wish this one was protected. I don't like the location at the bottom of the mod. I think there was plenty of real estate to put it on the side somewhere. I wish they would have. That's definitely going to be a con being at the bottom of the mod. Not my favorite location for a micro USB port. Wanted to give you a quick size comparison. Of course, this is the Wismic Preva DNA. This is the Smoke Trinity. And this is the Orion, the non-DNA one. Same dimensions, though. I just couldn't find my DNA one. But the same type of dimensions as the DNA one on the Orion Q. So just for size aspects, it's fine. You can see the Prev is a little thicker. All right. Basically the same exact height. But the Prev is also just a tad 
wider going across not much just a little bit and you can see from the top they basically have the same type of footprint in the hand the Preva definitely feels more solid it's got that heft to it that gives it a quality feel even more so than either of the Orions from Lost Vape including the Orion Plus now when you compare it to the smoke you can see it's just about as thick as the smoke one Really, size-wise, it's closer to the Smoke Trinity Alpha than it is to anything else. I mean, you can see across the back there, they're pretty much identical in size. Now, again, the Preva feels heavier. The Smoke definitely feels lighter, but very, very close as far as dimensions go. Also included in the packaging is you get a Wismic Preva DNA user manual. You get a micro USB cable. You get a warning card we're going to go over this in a little bit more detail in a second and you also get a second pod a 0.25 ohm pod here's the pod this is a stainless steel one a 0.25 ohm pod this is the one i like the best out of the two of them it's my favorite i feel like i get a warmer vape on this all right and you can see i wish they would have made these things a little clearer it's made out of the exact same construction as the other one. You can see the cotton, the wicking material in there. You know, same type of airflow ring and drip tip, the whole nine yards. Just a different resistance and a different coil material. This one is stainless steel 316. Now, I wanted to get back to this card because it shows the battery levels, right? You can read it or pause it here for yourself if you want to read it. Those are the color indicators for what your battery is doing and the low, medium, and high. I wish they would have listed individual wattages for each pod, uh, you know, as far as low, medium, and high go. They did not, and I haven't been able to find that information out. Let me give you one last look at it, all put together, all right, just so you can see it. Let's go back on top. All right, insiders, let's get into them cons and pros. First con is going to be, I can't help but feel this thing just feels a little bit underpowered. I wish it had at least another 10 watts to it. It just feels a little, little too cool for me. You guys know it's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like that charge port on the bottom. You had plenty of real estate on this thing. Could have put that charge port anywhere. The AFC on this one, it's a little bit on the loose side. I wish it was a little tighter. I wish the tolerance was a little better. This is the type of pod system where you can't swap out the coils. It's a closed pod system. Once you burn that pod out, you just throw it out and put in another one. For some people, that's going to be a con, especially with all the new ones coming out with the swappable coils. Yeah, I know. Don't hit me up in the comments. I know you're going to say those are AIO systems. Whatever it is, AIO, pod, it doesn't matter. They're making stuff like this where you can swap the coil out. And I'm telling you, People like that. They don't like taking the pod and just chucking it. So I got to point it out as a con. And the last con I kind of touched on already, being a little bit underpowered, the vape is cool. It's not as hot as I like it. It's a common con with a lot of pod systems. I just, you know, with a DNA board, I expect it to be a little warmer, and it's not. But that's it on the cons, man. There's not a lot to complain about on this real nitpicky stuff, you know, it's got a lot of pros. It really does. So let's get into the pros. First pro is going to be that 510 drip tip. I like that. I can use my own 510 drip tips. Awesome job, Wismic. Adjustable airflow. I like it. It's a pro. This thing fires fast. Great build quality on this. One of the best Wismic devices I've ever had as far as build quality goes. There's no doubt about it, man. It's classy looking. I like the way they did the pod fitment there's not a lot of wiggle room on it they fit in there nice and secure it's a pro no leaking man this thing's been dry as a bone love that top fill system it's awesome subtle branding thank you wismic i like the fact that it's got three power levels getting pretty good battery life off of this thing it's got a nice capacity nice flavoring clouds check it out i got it on the highest setting got my apricot custard in here you know that's the way I roll. Check it out. Good flavor. I just wish there was a little bit more heat. 
but the flavor and clouds are actually fine on this. If you like a cool vape, you'll really enjoy it. Two pods in a kit. Wismic knows how to do pods. Awesome job, guys. And the last pro is going to be this thing charges at one amp. I like that. It's a pro. So that's it, insiders. Those are my pros and cons. Let's get into it. Let's talk about this one a little bit. I said it already. Love the build quality on this thing. Love the form factor. You know, it's a nice, easy carry. You know, pocketable, all that. I love it. I just wish it vaped a little warmer. The coolness on this is underwhelming, especially when you compare it to stuff like the new Vupu Vinci, the new Squid Squad. This thing's just not going to be able to get as warm as stuff like that. But if you like a cool vape, this is a very well-built system that has nice flavor. So if that's what your deal is, if that's right up your alley, definitely check out the Wismic Preva with the DNA Go Board. It's a legitimate pod system. Let's get into some of the specs on the Wismic Preva with the DNA Go Board. It measures in at 96 by 43 by 18.6 millimeters. It weighs in at 136 grams. It has a 1,050 milliamp hour battery. As I mentioned before, it does have a DNA Go chipset, three power settings. In yellow mode, you're in low. In green mode, you're at medium. And at blue mode, you're at high. It has one amp internal charging. The LED battery indicator works as follows. When it's blue, you're at 95 to 100%. When it's green, you're at 70 to 90%. When it's yellow, you're at 30 to 70%. And when it's red, you're at 15 to 30%. Two pods come in the kit, a 0.25 ohm direct lung pod and a 0.5 ohm mount to lung pod. Protections include low voltage, timeout, short circuit, low and high resistance. Thanks for watching the video, Insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.